After a nine month hiatus, the crossroads of the West Gun Show is back at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefti. This comes after a judge granted the show's temporary return. Tennis reporter Rena Nakano explains how its future depends on newly passed legislation. These protesters didn't think they'd be here again, but here they are. We thought we already had this issue decided. Last September, they convinced the Del Mar Fairgrounds Board of Directors to suspend the crossroads of the West Gun Show, but a judge's ruling this past June allowed the event to return. I feel really good that the court found in our favor because what that does is it protects San Diegans and Californians as a whole's First Amendment rights. In response, state legislators passed AB 893, which bans the sale of guns and ammo at the Del Mar Fairgrounds starting 2021. <laughs> These teens joined the protest because they say they're scared. <laughs> at Canyon Crest Academy, they say lockdown drills are now the new norm. Unfortunately, it is a very realistic possibility. I have a plan for every single class, and I have items like, oh, this textbook's over there, I can throw. <laughs> And that's why they're supporting AB 893. This isn't about First and Second Amendments rights. This is about commerce. And the state has the authority to decide what business it will conduct on state-owned property. Governor Gavin Newsom has until October 13th to sign or veto the legislation. And if the bill becomes law, gun show advocates say they'll continue to fight. We're going to appeal this all the way to the Supreme Court. This is a statewide fight for 40 million Californians' rights. And if they take these rights away, this is not where they're going to stop. In Del Mar, Rena Nakano, 10 News. The legislation only applies at the Del Mar Fairgrounds, but if it passes, protesters hope other jurisdictions follow suit. Meanwhile, the Crossroads of the West Gun Show is scheduled to be back in Del Mar this December.